More like cuck life? I wouldn't know. Is it like that? I mean, this guy is wearing the fedora from Cuckold Simulator. Mute and yeah, do Pokemon games... lo-fi? But is the- well, hang on. Is the- is the shitty soundtrack not part of the game, though? I mean, it is, but... Also, hey, Scott, what's up? By the way, by the way, I hadn't said hey to everyone, but hey! Hope you guys are doing great. I know I'm doing something. Uh, exclamation mark new vid will take you to a link where uh, you can see my Palladian- Fuck, I'm saying it wrong already. Paldean Fates box opening that I did. It's like 50 minutes. I do like the whole thing, and it is a little bit slow-paced, but, well, eh, kind of 50-50. It's my first time doing anything like it, though. Definitely check it out. It wasn't, like, a terrible, like, pull, either, when it came from everything from the box. It was super sick. So you own a huge farm and are making tons of money. Nice. Finally. One day a tornado comes along and destroys it all. No! The only thing that survives is a single duck egg. You have to train this duckling into a racing duck. Yes! The logical step once the farm has been destroyed. I like Woofer the goopy little baby. Yes! That's the most- that's the most valuable card that we got. At least in terms of personal value. Pokemon video was snazzy. You liked it? Okay. Like... Yay! Playing Palio with your mom? Hell yeah! Better keep music as is for the experience? I kinda thought so. If it gets, like, tedious at any point, we'll maybe switch over to lo-fi, but, you know, we'll be alright for now. But yes, I just, uh, with all the headache and stuff, I'm just glad I got it out on time, and that people seem to be liking it. I, I know it's not gonna get, you know, a ton of views, but that's okay. Especially because Vidic, which is a thing I use to optimize some of my uploads, told me it was like a 96 out of 100 on the, this is pretty good with everything you've got here champ scale, and I like that. That... That's the highest I've ever scored with that. I love that Mimikyu slips. Oh, yeah, um... So, so the, the sleeves and the box, you know, it's even funnier, and it doesn't show it a lot in the camera, but they're very reflective. It's awesome. Definitely need to learn more, uh... more synonyms for, uh, beautiful and other words like it, because I think I, I definitely get repetitive at the beginning, but you can tell I relax into it at the end. All right. We gotta make enough money to rebuild the farm. How do we do this? Okay. Are are we the chicken? Yes. The right. duck. Ch this chick ain't chicken life. <laughs> the chicken life. Okay, hang on, hang on. Are, how do I move it? I don't know if I can. Okay, uh, into race, train running, train swimming, train flying. All right. We're gonna just have to get him to be the fastest that ever was. Click to jump. Jump over the rolling objects. Try to collect coins. All right, here we go. What is that? Is that chicken nugget? Ooh, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh no! See, I see the thing is, I don't think that people would believe me if I said that it was awe-inspiring, though. But yeah, I love Mimikyu so much, and I'm gonna have to get a booster pack, though. Or a booster box, because they have a shiny Mimikyu option that you can get. And I want to get it for me or Milo, because I think Milo might actually kill me if I don't give it to her. <laughs> I know I'm taking these self-deaths, but I want, uh... I definitely do want these coins. Ah, uh, see, that's part of the challenge. Getting the coins without dying. I know, but the retry button is so there. You want to open a box? I'm a fiend for Big Gamma. Did you see the Charizard from Obsidian Flames? Or Charmander, I mean? I, I have to say, like, immediately, I am in love and I cannot wait to get that box. He looks so pissed off. Like, he looks like coin, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, that reminds me, I had another idea of that similar style of what I could do with Nova. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, before you get into that, what are we naming our duck? Mm. We have to name him. Hmm. Level 23 running, not bad. I assume it's out of 100. I don't know. My first thought goes to Enrique for some reason. Enrique? <laughs> I mean, it's a name. Does anyone have... My second have... option is Frederick. Okay, Enrique, Frederick. Those are pretty much defaults. Yeah. yeah. Bob said Parmesan. Ooh, I love Parmesan. Parmesan? Okay. You know what? I think we could do Parmesan. We'll have no, to, we'll have to just, you know, Parmesan. you know what we'll have to do? We'll, we'll, it, we'll name it Parmesan, but what we'll do is, <laughs> wait, oh, Parmesan. Oh, oh. That's okay. Okay. I'm fine with that. Parmesan is fine. Because I know you said CN, but I, there's, I don't, I don't, I think if it's S-E-A-N, it's still Sean. But yeah, okay. Parmesan, that's his name. Okay. <laughs> and then we're just gonna have to name the rest of them other cheese-related things. Yep. Uh, anyways, the... Uh... My, my idea was, because we talked about having the whole Nova with its face against the aquarium, because oh, Fox wants yes. the fish. Yeah. Well, one thing I thought of was just have him trying to bite at a fish that's right up against the glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like um, dog eating the water hose style. Yeah, basically. Re oh, level 54 Ooh. running already. We're going to have one <laughs> buff baby. So, okay, someone tell me if I am correct or incorrect here, but I'm guessing we need to train all the attributes and then win the race, right? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to go, like, max right away, I don't think, but... Yeah, no, because it goes incremental on how difficult the yeah. races are. But that's also what we used to do in school, is, like, if you were bored, you beat the game already. Like, there was only the one duck life at the time. I still can't gotcha. imagine how they've evolved this over the next nine entries. But yeah, oh, um, Glob says that that <laughs> duck run the... or whatever app, like that might be the five actually. Um, it's duck yeah, so it's essentially just a duck run. version of Temple Run. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Because like, yeah, because yeah. I, because we did get the one that's like Duck Go or whatever the whatever it's called. The one that doesn't. It's the one that doesn't have Duck Life in its name. All right, come on, Parmesan. No, no, Parmesan! We're level 77, no. though. Wow. Come on, Parmesan. You got this, buddy. If I remember correctly, I think it goes to 150. 150? 150 would be a crazy cap. Oh, shit. Mm. This is a chicken, not a duck, but gets the vibe across. That's true. Also, that's a cute chicken emote. All right, we're level 85 now. Is it just me or are we getting faster with our with our running? Well, that's the point of the training. No, that's nice. I like that because like it was stupid slow before. You know, I honestly don't remember what the fuck the coins are for. You mean like it's not like for buying something? I mean, I I can't remember the last time I played this game, so it might be for something. Flight is easiest to train yeah. if it's a little boring. Oh, okay. Well, okay, so yeah, 101. Wait, so is it 150 then? Because we're leveling up really fast. My baby's already level 101. Running 101? Yeah, you, you look at this duck and it's just like goo goo gaga. Oh, look at the little baby. He's so cute. Oh, God, he's got me. And he just, the baby, like, suplexes now the old the man. Big baby.
Uh, yes, I forgot the cosmetics. There's cosmetics? Yeah. What good game doesn't have hats? That's true. Okay, I'm back. Oh, Welcome so back. Not supermarket sim, but they're working on adding hats. I cannot wait to be allowed into the cool person room. Which, for anyone that is curious, we are doing more of that Saturday. It's going to be up until... Grandy, you get home. It's when you get home from work, we're doing D&D, right? Grandy's scavenging for food. Oh, right. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though. I think that's why we're starting at, like, yeah. 10. Man, that's so late. Uh, yeah, but, like... <laughs> you know, it's not that late. And, and who knows? This could take an hour. It could take... A couple hours? I have no idea. <laughs> I will say to everyone that has helped me put this together. Uh, oh, wait. I will have to ask Easy about, uh, like, turn progression just so I can get, like, a checklist of things to make sure people do so that way I don't forget, like, certain checks, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I have modified things a little bit. Not, not too seriously, but, like, Bob helped me on some stuff and, like, she might know a little bit about what's up, but I've, I've done a little bit more since then. Specifically, oh, it's okay. It says 150. I think that's it. Let's just get hit by the first thing huh. or second thing. Also, I guess. man, you started working on this when we were playing like Borderlands 2. That feels so long ago. I know. Look, I was slacking on the on the uh, asset creation. Well, you know what? I'll just say it a little bluntly. I made the final boss harder. Oh. Yes. In an exciting way. Oh. Well, Carol, you can look at the shop and see what it is that, um... Harder in an exciting you can way? Buy. I, think, I think that's a different kind of hard. What? Oh, it looks like it does have super feet. Oh, if you just click on something, it immediately... Oh, that sucks. Okay, so if you click on something, it immediately just buys it. Uh, you probably, probably want to feed the deck. Oh. Okay, hold on. It will yeah. feed him once he dies. <laughs> okay, he is dead. Ah, uh, a responsible duck owner. Yeah. Glob, I forget. What does the super feed do? I think she's better for me. Yeah, delicious nom noms, buddy. Yeah, we'll start getting super feed probably when we get more money. Just also, some regular one, feed for my boy now. With 150 running, I don't think it matters what your other stats are for the first race. You don't think yeah, so? No. No, you'll I, fucking blur the competition I, I bet, just on the running. I, bet you'll beat it. I don't even remember if they're. I don't know. It's been so long, but I don't even remember if there is like a lot of other sections in the first one. All right, time to train that swimming again. Oh no! So close. Man, a lot of the music in this is just bass. Maybe it's yeah. a bassist. You get a free color change if you do the races without a high enough flight. Wait. Oh, okay. So that's what that's what we'll do then, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. Who needs to fly when you can just run really fast? All right, here, let's do the first race then. See what's up. All right, Green Valley. All right, let's go, Parmesan. You know what? I think he might be a little bit better than everybody else. <laughs> Just a little. I have to wait for them to finish? Yeah, yeah. Yikes. This game is terrible to speedrun. They, oh my god, I disqualified them. Oh, yeah. Wait, we got Juicy Orange. We need 50 coins. I like Juicy Orange. Oh, this is this is like a flying one. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Parmesan! You gotta want it. <laughs> <laughs> Duck Parmesan. His name is Parmesan. It, it just he was a little cheesy boy when we first got him, and he will be again soon. Crazy red. Oh no, they're gaining on me. They're gaining on me. <laughs> Don't worry, as long as there's a running section, I think you're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We're so good. <laughs> 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 it looks like I am just like, it looks like I am rigging the Paralympics right now. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I can't believe you do that. I can't believe I would yeah, do that, how apparently. Could you care who? All right, I guess this is like the full thing, probably. Yeah. It's like each one. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you're just gonna DQ him from being able to run so fast. Come on, Parmesan. Ooh, your energy's not looking great. No, it's really not. Ooh. It's level 17. What happens when it's out? Uh, you. Lose. He just dies. <laughs> you said the word lose as he died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, Parmesan. Back to the training board. The uh, training board. You need more energy. Fuck, retry. Oh, wait, don't re- fuck. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, you don't really need- You could wipe the competition as is, you just need some- You just- you need to feed the boy. I mean, I... You'll, you'll need the stats anyway, but- Yeah, eventually. Alright, alright, alright. Well, let's just- let's just have him do some swimming to regain his energy, because that's something that people do to get their energy back. That's how you drown. I'm, yeah. I don't think you can prove that to me definitively, so. I mean, I could, but I drown. Feed me, Simo. Feed me out. <laughs> you, like, sit there and you drown, and I'm just like, yeah, of course you would drown if you rig it. <laughs> just like you rigged the Paralympics? No, no, allegedly. 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 That's what they all say. You're coming with us. Mm, I don't know if I am. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, she, she, uh, <laughs> out of our you, you, you need, you need more. <laughs> you, you need more authority. There you go. Oh no, no! Damn it! Respect my father. No! Not the copy mode! <laughs> Holy shit, this is going so fast now. This is genuinely, like, making me a little bit dizzy. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we gotta challenge you. Yeah, but I didn't... Ugh. So it's a pet sim? Kinda? It's more like a yeah. abuse a duck until it wins a race to get your family farm back simulator. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing the Paralympics and animal abuse? No, it's... Well, the second one wasn't... You know, it's, it's not... It's not my fault. I think I inherited <laughs> this duck. Hmm, likely story. Bet they'll love to hear you tell that story down at the, um... No, oh, not down at the station! Yeah, yeah I oh, think you'll station. need to That's come with word. us down to the station. Damn it. It's a pet sim with steaks. Yeah, kinda, sure. And apparently eight sequels. 
Some yep. people would call it a pet sim, other people would call it garbage. What? I and mean... All, all of us would call it our childhood. I, yeah. Like, maybe? Like, okay, like, 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 look. Much better to play. Look, I'm yeah, not. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Look, I understand. I understand. I would not surprise me that my peers more than likely played this and I just missed out on this one. I was more of an addicting games kid. Wow. Crazy. Well, I knew what all the proxy websites were. Uh, gum under the desk. I was there. Oh, you can move laterally while you jump. This just made it a lot easier. <laughs> I guess that's what it was. You could have played the okay. hell out of this when you were 13. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you know, you're the local, you're the resident chow garden addict. Yeah. Hero, did you ever play uh, Crush the Castle? Maybe? I'd have to see it. Uh, you had a trebuchet that you launched different rocks and shit at the castle to take it out. It sounds familiar. My the when I think of games I played a lot of when I was a kid, there was a, like stick RPG, and then you had like um, I think it was called Ski Runner or something, where it was like you basically just took LSD while you skied down a hill and had to avoid all your hallucinations. No. Yeah, no. It like in hindsight, it was straight up a game where you just did hella drugs. Like I didn't realize that as a kid. I was like, wow, look at how much fun this guy's having, and he's just taking these little candies. No. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of, Ooh, candy. Piece of LSD. Stick RPG is classic. Yes, if you don't know the Jesus code, then you weren't a real gamer. RMR. Hang on, I'm gonna see if these people leave a message. Sorry, I, uh, <laughs> not trying to just like pop away for a second here, but I got a phone call from a number that is in my old area code and it's gotta be a scam, but like, I'm trying to think of what RMR is supposed to stand for. Mm. Cause I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, uh, yeah, Kara, whenever you get the chance, I did DM you an image of the game. Uh, the website if it was on, if I remember correctly, was Armor Games. Did you know that there's a hidden voicemail section of your phone? 
and just have like a bunch of like robo calls in this this uh thing that's weird huh i did not weird. yeah okay let me look up this phone number and see if it comes back to a business but you said RMR, right? Yeah. The only thing, the thing that I immediately thought of is for RMR is fucking red dot on a fucking pistol. No, it's definitely not that. Yeah, I know it's not that. All I can think of is Red Med Redemption. Yeah, because RMR is a type of mounting standard. I'm trying to think about when I opened up that pack because like I'm trying to see if maybe the other person that called me was yeah no I don't know who this is looking up the number doesn't yield anything so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's a scam call probably it's one of those things. I'm uh, one of the kind of people that if you don't state your business with me immediately, then uh, that's it. <laughs> like, what was it? I got a text today from some random number also from my old area code. And it's like, do you like music? And I'm like, why the fuck do you think anyone would answer you on that? Like, you yeah. know, a lot of I think a lot of the times people are I think it's one of those wrong number scams, but it's just like, oh, God. Yikes. Also, you know what's even funnier? I've never had some stuff like this happen before. The only thing I've done recently is sign up for... Uh, I think the sketchiest thing I've signed up for is PlayStation, sadly. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know. I feel like someone else probably gave my information away. Couldn't imagine who. Probably Adobe, considering I just cancelled our subscription with them. Yeah. And I know that they're a bunch of... cocksuckers. <laughs> Yep. Gotta say it quietly. I, Don't want them to hear me. <laughs> I actually recently had a legitimate wrong number text. They were like one digit off from their friend's number. Oh, that's funny. See, that's, person... that's funny, or if it's something like really funny and jovial, like, hey, number neighbor, and assuming your number neighbor's like, fuck you. Yeah. I had a person who kept calling me, and I was like, wrong number. Uh, and they just get more and more mad about it every time. Like, this would go on for months. I was like, you got the wrong number. And they'd be like, nope, this was the number I was given. I'm like, well, I ain't that person. <laughs> I am sorry to inform you that nah. -uh. <laughs> That's, oh my god. So, when I was in high school, I don't know if I ever told this story. When I was in high school, <clears throat> I had one problem with my phone number. <laughs> you know what that was? What? I don't know if it was online or in i'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's it's it was online but like it could have been on a piece of paper people kept calling my number asking me about cars i had for sale i was not really? selling any cars uh, like this one person's like hi i'm calling about the 1999 honda accord and i'm like this is not that number i was like i was like bro <laughs> especially at the time i was like bro if i am 15 like they just like i don't even own a car it's like if i owned it i'd be driving it Hello? <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, like, like four or five cars, different cars I had been called about. And every time I'm just like, who was putting my number out to be like, oh yeah, call this person and, and, and ask them about this, this, this freaking 1989 Chevy van. Man, you should have just tried to sell some of those cars though. Uh, yeah, but like, I, again, I was 15. I hardly even had a debit card. Like, I, I don't even know if I did. So, like, how, you know, what are they going to do? Give me cash for something I'm not going to give them? Exactly. Yeah, no, it's just how you go to jail. Nah. Nah. Oh, you know what? Now that you said nah, you right. What? They're going to be like, a 15-year-old sold me a car that they didn't have. Right. Well, yeah, but you still get in trouble. <laughs> hmm. Wait, so you say Crush the Castle is really good. It gets easy when you get the black hole bottle. Is it just what it sounds like? A black hole in a bottle? Yeah. That's so stupid. 
That's like, I remember when I played Angry Birds and they had eagles and it's like, yeah, I mean, the game gets really easy if you can just like once every 30 minutes be like, tactical nuke incoming. Man, I wish I yeah, could like you, every 30 minutes just call a tactical nuke. You have to go for a, through a lot of the game before you get the bottle. It's gonna be really funny if I get like this this duck maxed out and then uh, don't really have like anything else to do, you know, like in the game yeah. and then we just have to move yeah. on to the sequel, beat it in like an hour. I mean, that's kind of how it, how it is. Oh, really? First, like e each one you play, it, it takes longer and longer. So the first one's like pretty fast. Then the second one's like, like still fast, but not as fast. And by the time you get to like the like the newest one, it's probably gonna be like take a while. Yeah. It's all fun and games until you see the duck life progression tree. <laughs> uh, what do you mean I can dual class in the ninth game? Dual class? You can quad class. Yeah. But clearly, you've never you, been a fire-breathing berserker that... mage, and it shows. You become an astronaut in one of the games. Let's do a classic. Oh, level 50 swim. All right. Nice. Let's go. Oh, wait. Hang on. Shop. How much does this cost? Oh, let's just get the superfood then. All right. Time for you to eat, fucker. Eat your food. Are you gonna get a different color for your deck? Uh, I just spent all my money, so no. I was gonna say, probably not now. <laughs> Should have said something before you spent all your money. Yep, it's okay though. I gotta get, I gotta get Parmesan's uh, stats up here. Caro just min-maxing her deck. I'm just saying, that's me. That is me down to the T. The max is everything but flying, which is the min. I'll get a free. Oh, that's right. Free color change because of the zero flying. Exactly. It was all Who according to plan. Fly? Glob's plan. Can I beat the game without ever like seeing the flying mini game? All right, here we go. Enter race. Beginner races. It's time. All right, Parmesan, you gotta want it! You gotta want it! I think Parmesan- If you don't win this, don't bother coming home! And still win. What do you think? Parmesan can, like, take a nap and still win this. Yeah. That's my boy! God, this is so fucking <laughs> I came first? I mean, this time, maybe. Parmesan can't fly. <laughs> Just jumped out of building. Yeah, yeah. Parmesan uh, or Parmesan definitely uh, needs to watch out with the flight segments here. Oh no, Parmesan! Oh no! <laughs> How are we supposed to win that one? I got disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, 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 oh god, no. Yeah, how are we supposed to get the free color change then? Might be in the second game? Okay. No, Parmesan, no! I 
There he oh, goes. This is a valuable lesson in not jumping off roofs. All right, time to train the flying. Love the action park ramp. Yeah, we just need to put a loop on it now. Ooh, I forget the name, the name of the game. But um, did you ever play the one where it was the you started out with a porta potty and you had to fly? Yes, I have. I forgot what that one's called, but that game—that's another game I that fucks really hard. Oh god, yeah. But yeah. So obviously today we're gonna be just be doing Duck Life, I imagine. But if you guys want to do another uh, day of just Flash games, that's our current dono incentive. We're like ten subs away though. Or not dono, sub incentive. I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, party racers. Yeah, that's what it's called, Potty Racers. I forget, how many of those were there? I only played the first one. I played a few. I think one of my favorite, most nostalgic games was Block Soars. That's Ooh, like the quintessential yeah. cool math game. See, I always think of uh, the Papa Pizzeria series. Oh, of course, everyone knows Papa. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The, old, the only Papa game that has gotten any, a Steam remake is Freezeria. They should just quit being cowards and remake Papa's Pizzeria. True. I'm trying to remember what all there was for Papa. Papa's Pizzeria, Papa's Donoria, Papa's Sushiria. Papa, I don't remember the uh, game. Uh, the sushi. Oh, and don't forget Papa's uh, Spankeria, wherever you own a sperm bank. So I don't remember that one. Oh, you don't? Oh, I, I forgot no. about the Burgeria. Oh, yeah. I played that one. Oh, the Cupcakeria. Um, oh. Oh, of course, there's the. They had to have uh, to do the uh, pasta ria. Yeah, I just have their freaking. The freaking website open. Because <laughs> there's freezeria, burgerio, uh, pizzeria, wingeria, sushi ria, the pasta ria, cheese ria, which was just like grilled cheese. Cupcakeria, Donataria, Taco Mia, Bakeria, Doggeria. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the Doggeria. It's hot dogs. Sure. You want grilled cheese? Ooh, grilled cheese is so good. I was thinking Papa was getting into illegal. I was thinking Papa was getting into illegal dog racing. You know he is. Yeah. That's in the basement. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Wasn't he arrested there's... in one of the games for something? Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, then there's also the Pancakeria, Scooperia. Then there's the Papa Louie when pizzas attack, Papa Louie 2 when burgers attack, and Papa Louie 3 when Sundays attack.
By the way, can we talk about how surprisingly many of those there are? But then again, I think that's just like how these games are. Like Flash games, for some reason, get like a million sequels. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go do yeah. the race. But the thing is that this, this website also has three other games. You want to know what those games are? What? What? Jack Smith, which it has a, a cow in armor. Then there's Cactus McCoy and the Curse of Thorns and Cactus McCoy 2, the ruins of, of uh, Calavera. You get an extra $100 each paycheck because you turn down your health insurance plan because you already have one. Oh, that's sick. Lucky. But uh, yeah, I hope you're doing good, Cosmos. I'm doing great here. Thanks for asking. Just uh, living the duck life. We're almost done with the first game, apparently. Got called a cuck by a seventh grader. Nice. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Oh boy, the young minds are so impressionable. But yeah, no, I, I hated working uh, at a school. It wasn't like bad or anything, but it's like, you know, kids be asking the weirdest questions because they have no filter. That's the volcano. Wait, why is my boy in the volcano? <laughs> It's the forbidden hot tub. Good soup. Oh, oh, it's like that, huh? What? what? <laughs> oh, okay, you came in. I was just like, I thought you were here I already, back. kinda. I was gonna say, I think that's why I got like a little honk, cause I was like, uh, is Discord <laughs> messing up again? Wait, yeah, they changed wait. my color because I fell into the lava. I'm burnt now. They burnt my chicken. <laughs> yep. And I know I'm a duck. Shut up. Look at all these chickens. There it is. Free color change. Oh, that's the... Okay, that's the one you were talking about. Well, I'm not changing it back, so... Okay. How goes the duck lifing? It's, uh... It's ducking. And it's lifing, you know? Now, is that autocorrect duck, or...? Uh, no, it's just duck, sadly. <laughs> uh, I had a student ask me why I look so sad while eating. It was a $5 sandwich from a gas station. <laughs> Bro, that, that's... I'm sorry, that's rough. <laughs> Lunch of kings. Right Why there. do you look so sad when you eat? And it's just like, I'm at work. Like, how do you describe that you're at work to some kid without being like, look, you know how you feel happy right now? That feeling goes away. That feeling doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yep. That feeling is replaced by cold, dark sadness. And the need to fulfill yourself with a hobby instead of saving your money like a responsible adult. Or drug addiction. Or both. When you choose a hobby, choose a cheap one. Not like Pokemon God, cards. stamp collecting would have been so much better. Coin yeah. collecting. Not if you want to Coin stamps. collecting, one. <laughs> you have one coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just br be brutally honest with the kid. Tell him, unless you become like a doctor or something, don't become a furry. What? Well, yeah, I guess. Like, I know why you say that. It's just really yeah. funny, because then they're going to be like, what's a furry? <laughs> what's a furry? I thought all furries work in IT. Or yeah, that's all, true. All IT people are furries. That's true. That's true. Uh, only half of look, it. Look, it's the same It's the same logic of uh, not all pa not all people with mustaches are pedophiles, but all pedophiles have mustaches. Yeah. Of course, of course. I get it. I understand now. Thank you for enlightening me. We're almost yeah, to level my, 100. My favorite one where someone's tell it, just talking about what their job is, is like this guy talking about how he's a, he's an engineer at NASA. And then immediately just 180th. I'm also a noodle dragon on the internet. 
<laughs> I'm also a noodle dragon on the internet. <laughs> Imagine if that was your job title, noodle dragon. My parents at 30, we should have a third kid, me at 30, lol, I'm a cow on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you could just say you've been doing a bunch of chores for the past few hours. Nah, I, I see that's that's why I can't work at a school. I'd be too I'd be too willing to be like, kid, you're old enough, someone's gonna tell you. Okay, I imagining like the way you did the voice, I imagine you like offer bring a, them a cigarette with a bottle yeah. of like, whiskey. Hey, and hey kid, you 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 a you a jack or cigarettes kind of person. They're like, what are those things? And I'm like, ah, so a cigarettes kind of person. <laughs> Full time library clerk but part time internet goober. See, okay, honestly though. I think that, that I, I actually really think I would like working at a at a library. <laughs> like I think that would be yeah. cool. But also it's one of those things where it's like I hate anything customer facing. Don't ask me questions. Figure yeah. it out. You have an expensive phone that is exponentially smarter than you in your pocket. Use it. Oh yeah, I I remember in in middle school I actually was a I was a library assistant. So I I'd go whenever check books in and out and put them back on the shelves. But most of the time I got to just sit at the at the checkout desk reading my book. I also got snacks. Free snacks? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I I'd get a a, ba a Ziploc bag with some pretzels and some chocolate chips. Just chocolate chips. <laughs> All right, we're max level now. You're not max, you're Kuro. You do. Look, look, think about it this you way. Cosmos, over. think about it this way. Even if you're not IT, at least you get to do something that's like, you, that'll, you get paid for that, you know what I mean? So like, if they ask Cosmos you to waste your time on it, they'll pay you for that, which is great. This just in, Cosmos is not it. Back when I was working at Walmart, the same old lady who was asking the same question about different vacuums. Is it good for pet hair? Oh my god. Look, if you, look, if you have to ask that question, you didn't do your research. And also, I think this is just a bit of thing for me. I don't think any vacuum's good with pet hair. Also, read the box, you fucking. There might be ones me. that are like better, but every time I see pet hair or like my hair, it's wrapped around the bottom of the vacuum. When I, when I worked at Murdoch's, um, one of the main things I had to do was refill the pet food, which meant I only, I spent more time in, like, animal supplies than, um, in hardware, when I worked in hardware. Uh, and so I'd get more questions about, um, animal like, oh, yeah, yeah, about animal stuff. They'd be like, hey, uh, well, like, you know, they'd ask questions about animals, like, oh, what kind of, like, feed should I be doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I work in hardware. I just refilled this because it's it's heavy. And everyone else I work with is weak. Well, no, it, uh, we had radios, so I, I literally just call out for the people. And then... Usually just sit there while they explain it. And that's why I know some things about pet food. Alright, what do you know about pet food? I have well, you like to know weather boy. Two hundred thousand coins now. That's it. There's no more duck race for you, but guess what? You can continue training your duck. Uh world you can play it from the main menu. And then you can play Duck Life 3 and then 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Don't say we didn't treat you. Oh, for the king of the ducks. Wait. Where how do I put on the crown? There it is. Congrats, you beat Duck Life 1! We did it! We yeah. beat Duck Life 1! Yeah. You saved the farm! I saved the farm! I can't wait to see how this- I can't wait to see how this transpires in the next game. Enter Huzzah! your name. Hello, my name is- Oh wait, hang on, we gotta name our new duck. So we had Parmesan before, what are we doing this time? Uh... Sketty- No, the dog is already named Sketty! Bolognese! 
Don't ask me why Bolognese. Uh, it's just Bolognese. Alfredo and Wooper. Okay, you know what? Hang on. Hold on to Wooper, Bob. We'll do Alfredo because that, mm, fit, that fits the, the cheesy aesthetic. Wait, how do you spell Alfredo? A L uh, F. Fuck. A L F. R E D O. R E D O. Definitely not reading what out of chat. Well, right, but is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Who knows? It looks right. Oh my god, it's me from the previous game! Hey, Alfredo. Oh. Sup. Sup. Uh, you only- uh, wow, nice crown. Where'd you get it? You only get one if you're a champion racer. Then I must become the champion racer. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but this- this is like a really- like, this is ahead of its time. That's like a Giga Chad meme right there. Then I must become the champion racer. <laughs> Story 100, right? $15 to dispense the regular or the good food. Okay, so let's go ahead and we get train skills shop. Okay. All right. Oh, and you have a fourth stat now. What was the fourth Four stat? Energy. Oh. The music's better. The, the colors are less hurting my eyes. They learned. And look, there's a baseball. It's an orange and it actually rolls now. Crazy. This is really the peak of gaming right here. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, oh. Also, what's up, Alex? How you doing? Yep. The, the soundtrack for this smacks. It's simple but effective. <laughs> I miss those, dang. You know what? I'm gonna play Duck Life 2. <laughs> <laughs> What? You've reached the maximum running level that you can be right now? Oh, fuck you! You have to buy max levels from the shop? Yeah, I think that's the way of making it so you couldn't just, um... <laughs> max, max out. out couldn't just do consuming. what I did? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't remember, but I think they get rid of it in the next one. Yeah. But I think they have other ways of, like, slowing your progression. I was gonna say, I'm not slowing, like, but you know. <laughs> like, I think everyone hated uh, we'll that. Did I just disconnect and reconnect? Uh, Discord's sure been on the shit yeah. all day. Or all day, and apparently some yesterday, too, according to Grandy. Yeah. Mm. And apparently before that, according to other people. Uh, yeah, so for I me, say, I, I, I had noticed that this- for like weeks now. I just noticed that Discord, since they pushed like that shitty mobile update, has been a lot more unstable since then. Can we notice another mobile update from Mars? I didn't either. No, the one that changed the layout. Like everyone hated it because it moved how you're like where your DMs were and stuff. Yeah. No oh. idea. It looks like that got changed, right? Because mine's the old way. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But yeah, on the on mobile, it was like a different like they changed the layout. They might have just like walked oh, it yeah, back because people hated it. But like ever since then, I've noticed that the service has been a lot less stable. And that just might be me noticing the trend at like that time. It could have been something that had been going on for a while. Yep. I forgot I brought ice cream. In the what kind? In. Chocolate. Nice. Mm, gross. Fuck you. It's still Ooh. frozen. I'm trying to let it deep, deep frost. Just because I don't like chocolate? Look, can we all agree that everyone's taste in ice cream is fine as long as you don't heat up your, uh, as long as you don't heat up your ice cream in the microwave? <laughs> Find the heat up. Uh, my cousin does that. 
Put heat up to melt or like heat up to dethaw? Like, like heat, dethaw. Like, like, no, like puts it in the microwave to get it to be more scoopable, but dead ass, it just, all it does is ruin the taste of the ice cream. No, that's when you put the metal scoop in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Easy. <laughs> nice. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. What's up? Easy said that's why you put the metal scoop in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta put it in there with it. No, you just microwave the scoop. You don't you just eat the scoop food. for a couple minutes so you can scoop easy. No, you don't, because that's a fire hazard. That's exactly why you do it. No, no, no. You, no, no, you know what they? Do you know it. you? No, you soak it in warm water. Just like they do in the ice cream place. Say, you, That's what you, you actually little, do. But, for but the no, meals. my my cousin puts like the whole ice cream in the microwave for like forty five seconds, and it's degenerative. So I what you're actually that. supposed to do uh, is you're supposed to hold the ice cream scoop over a flame with a little bit of heroin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally. That hat makes your duck know. look Amish. <laughs> I know. Amish duck. I want to take away his hat. He looks like a redditor. <laughs> Might I have a smell of that blouse, my lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Amish redditor. Amish yeah, yeah. They sne they sneak the phone underneath their mattress at night just so they can shit post. Of course. What else would they do? They're Amish. There's no excuse to not be shitposting. If my dad finds me right now, I will be excommunicated from my community. <laughs> You're getting flashbacks? Flashbacks to what? Were you Amish? I'm guessing Duck Life or Bob used to be Amish. I'm gonna guess that oh, Bob was Amish because we've been playing Duck Life. Amish Duck Life. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, no. I know exactly what she's talking about. I remember, I remember, I remember the talk. I remember. I, I remember. The talk? So, yeah. so... Me and Bob. I don't actually remember. Me and Bob had uh, what was it? It's, oh goodness, it's uh, I'll let, I'll let, yeah, neither, yeah, no, no, no. I was gonna say Bob can say it if she wants. I won't say it if she doesn't want me to. But like, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. It was like an experience that she had to deal with. That guy. <laughs> you know, I thought of something though, cause so Mennonites do dress the same as Amish. So... Oh, you, you said Meta Knight. I thought there. you said Meta Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Me putting out my best outfit to go, <laughs> Oh, I forgot to remove the hat. Oh, well. Amish duck lives another day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, so, so. Oh goodness. Uh, uh. Do you mind? Do you mind me telling it then, Bob? You'd have to confirm or deny some of the details, though, because obviously I don't know the whole thing. Go for it. Okay. So, like, she was going out with somebody like a while ago, like a while, a while ago, right? And uh, and basically this dude was like total discord like moderator status right like really cringy really weird but like um oh what was it i think if i remember correctly you'll have to check me on this one i think he kissed her hand upon meeting and like did like basically was all like milady about it but then whenever um oh god like uh, uh, because she was, like, a little bit behind, he's like, uh, I do believe that since you are late, I am owed something. A kiss, perhaps? <laughs> like, oh, yikes. Like, see, yeah, I'm just saying, if you make the homie say it gross, you gross. You know what it is? If anyone says that they are owed something from me like that, um, no the fuck you are not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I owe you something? No. Uh -uh. That's crazy because if if I owe you that, then you owe me a hundred dollars. <laughs> wow, crazy. Yes, it's like I give you money, you play a game that I tell you to. <laughs> That's how this relationship works. It is. 
You think I'd you think I'd be here right now? You think I'd be here on my own accord right now? No, I, I, no. I'd still be on my day off. Yeah. But you promise. <laughs> How OG are you in this game? Oh goodness, uh, hardly. We just finished the first game, right, Alex? And then uh, now we're on the second. And I guess that the max level is going to be uh, 150 again. So if you get to 150 and then do some races. Yeah, but very new. I surprisingly didn't play this as a kid. Long story short, Caro is non-OG. Yeah, no OG. You've only played the first four and took a look at the mobile ones. Oh shoot. There we go. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be nine when we got into this. Uh, apparently the ninth came out like this year, so. So we didn't know there was nine either. <laughs> yeah. It came out in like May, I think. At least that's what the, the Steam, that's when it came out on Steam. But still, you know, I think they're still still making them. Yeah, I can't believe they're making this still. I wonder if they got paid from ads on this. Probably. You know what's funny, Bob? So I was reading your last comment, you're like, I'm mad, I just wanted to go bowling instead I get a creep as fuck basement dweller. I get that. And you know what the worst part is? If if that were to happen and I was supposed to go bowling with you, I'd be extra mad because I fucking love bowling. <laughs> so you would have double disappointed me. Because not only were you a creep, but now I have to go find a way to go fulfill my itch to do bowling. Because, you know, like, I, I don't really go. Like, not since, you know, like, I used to be varsity bowling. And then I haven't really been as much since, but I still like to go. Oh... We should have gone during CaroCon. We really should have, honestly, especially because we had that power outage day. We could have probably found a, a, a what's it called, a bowling lane with that open. Yeah. You never got to go. I'm so sorry, Bob. I may be a basement dweller, but I'm too nervous to actually talk to people off of the computer. I'd have a heart attack if... If I tried any of what you described, yeah, because I mean, like, well, especially because you know that, like, that specifically is, like, you know, ugh, that's yikes behavior. I, I'm the same as Glob. And I'm Brandy. I, I, I've had a panic attack for way less than what they, they, like, described there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just, uh, an absolute... Giga Chad through and through. Just absolutely goaded with the Riz. Look, I'm just saying, I've always, like, I've never really been. I th I'd say my cringe ended in high school. And, like, I had, like, I, you know, I had some cringe still in college, but, like, when it came to, like, romance, I definitely was a lot better about it after my high school days. Like, I'd only really ever had a couple of dates be like super weird but i think that's inevitability in the dating space is that you're eventually gonna whether it's you or the other person that's weird yeah what is love baby don't hurt me don't hurt me no more i would sing along yeah. but i oh no i'm distracted i'm climbing Fair yeah i have never had love life eh, you know it's one of those things it, a lot of people overhype it 
Like yeah. it's a lot of people like not saying that I don't like being in a relationship or in the past having been in relationships, but it's like people uh, prioritize it on a level that isn't healthy. When in reality, if you didn't prioritize it, you'd have more success. Oh shit! There we go. I'm actually doing really good on this one. Climb, Alfredo! Climb! No, Alfredo! funny how they put the exact same music in all the training i i am almost certain that this is a limitation like they could have been lazy but i wouldn't be surprised if this was just like a hey we we just couldn't you know it's just a flash game especially because yeah. i found out a lot of video games a lot of their physical space is just music that makes sense thinking about it yeah, pirate software it's says it so music. it's true <laughs> If pirate software said to jump off a cliff, would you? I mean, you'd yes, probably yes. give me a reason to jump off the cliff, yeah? <laughs> probably a lot of reasons, actually. If pirate software said all of your friends jumped off a cliff, would you just... He, no, 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 cliff? pirate software would be like... <laughs> I, I wish I could turn the bass up for this, but Pirate Software would be like, statistically, if all of your friends are jumping off of a cliff, there's a reason why they're jumping off of the cliff. So first I would try to deduce why they're jumping off the cliff before jumping <laughs> off of the cliff. And that is how friendship works. <laughs> and that's and that's a Pirate Software short in a nutshell. <laughs> it's either that or well, look at my ferrets. Or I mean, I'm off off of knowledge. Wait, one at a time, what's up, Easy? Oh, I said you're forgetting the third option, Cursed Knowledge. That's true. Centaurs have two rib cages. Oh, that's fucking weird. I forgot. <laughs> I but how would a centaur that. wear pants? <laughs> like this or like this? You know what the worst part is? I know what you said, and the answer is like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the problem is, I don't know what you said. Yeah, well, the, the thing is, it's definitely the second one. The four, the four pant legs, because you're not going to clothe half the horse. Especially when, especially when the legs that you would not be clothing are where the genitals are. That's stupid. Why wear clothes at all then, huh? And look sponsor. We wear clothes to not be naked. And because, you know, sometimes the drip do be droppy. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, if you're not going to close the ass half of the horse, then you're just basically wearing a shirt and like no pants. Yep. You know what it is? If if I can see your butthole, then there's a problem, and you need to be clothed more <laughs> adequately. <laughs> I feel like that's that's the half half I imagine like you would do first. If you're only doing half of it, I feel like you're definitely doing like the back half. Yeah, see, okay, yeah, see, I, but I, then but then there's three thing. ways. You either clothe the front half, the back half, or the both halves, and just clothe it from the waist down. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, as I as I had said earlier, I have jumped off the cliff. I mean, jumped or fell. Oh. It was into a lake. Okay, then that doesn't count. <laughs> that's that's like that's basically safe. I mean, like I've done that. Basically. Oh well, yeah, um, basically, because some people don't know how to jump. Now, it wasn't much of a cliff, but there was this one cliff that I I jumped off of and did tactical rolls, and me and my cousins were being fucking dipshits. I. I don't so what remember else? what size the largest dive I've done was, but I remember that it was advertised as like, I want to say it was a 25 foot drop, but I don't remember. Wow. Well, cause like, it was like one of those things like, where it's like, it's like, hey, are you sure you want to jump off? Did you know that even though it looks really close, you're like really fucking high up right now and it could hurt? Really? Yeah, they had like a little sign next to it. Fair enough. Well, cause it was wow. like, it's like a touristy kind of place. You know, a lot of people do it. I'm sure that yeah. people got tired of picking bodies up out of the water every time someone hits their head on the cliff. <laughs> Sorry, what if I find that so <laughs> That's what Squidward <laughs> wears and no one hates on him, but Squid, okay, yeah, but like Squidward, I mean, technically his whole butthole is in between his legs. So like his butthole is not showing. 
That is the part of the butthole philosophy. Actually, what if I got thought of the time where we, we were just clumping off cliffs into the lake? There was one one of the cliffs we jumped off of. Uh, I I miscalculated my jump and sliced my foot open on a rock that was under the water. Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, this, this, was, in, this was on an island in the middle of Flathead Lake. Ooh, okay. Have I told y'all what happened to my biology teachers? Like, speaking of cuts on the foot. I'm gonna guess that's a no. No. I don't, so, I don't think you my, my biology teacher uh, at one point was snorkeling in the, you know, I think she was in the Caymans. And she at cut her foot on the coral reef. Do you know what happened? She died. No. Got infected. No. The, the coral started growing on the wound, like inside her body. Oh. Like in her foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, the coral took root in her foot. If that's not the craziest thing, I don't know what is. Because could you imagine you cut your foot, and next thing you know, you basically just become part barnacle? Coral are technically barnacles. I know, but like, you know, you look down and you see part of the ocean on your foot. I mean, I would immediately, I think of Davy Jones's crewman, you know, looking, yeah, looking a little Artificial. bit like the Flying Dutchman's crew. Wait a second. Who are you? <laughs> With that logic, as long as you have some sort of butt, butt, butthole coverage, like butt cheeks, <laughs> pantsless is fine. I mean... I mean, I guess, but like, if you bend over, nah. -uh. Bend over, uh huh. What if they're wearing a trench coat and assless chaps? Then I wouldn't talk to them. <laughs> then that's like, they should get better fashion advice. Yeah. <laughs> like maybe they, maybe just maybe they shouldn't be wearing a trench coat and assless chaps. Also, they're probably a predator. Oh, what, what do they hunt? I was going to make something about aliens Man. versus predator, but I couldn't think of anything that wouldn't have come across a little racist because of the fact that they're called aliens. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I know. See. I immediately thought about it. And I was like, no, that could be misconstrued. I'm just not going to say that. It's a good thing you didn't. That could have been misconstrued. <laughs> and everyone knows. <laughs> when I say I'm going to predate the aliens, that could mean one of two things. Only two things. I mean, three, I guess. Depends on how creative you get. Oh, we're at 5k. Let's go. Fog. Now I'm just oh, imagining like, the predator just wearing a trench coat. And assless chaps. I'm only imagining them like waist up, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who said assless chaps, easy. No, he didn't. Someone else mentioned, I was going to say, someone else mentioned it first. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Now that we're on the I'm topic no of, of is mentioned. it closed if you are like you got to be like covering up your butthole, right? So if we're if we're talking about that, does that mean that like hypothetically we should be getting those uh, cats, those stupid little gems that they were trying to sell to cover your cat's asshole? <laughs> Did you ever see that? It was like fake little gemstones <laughs> that they were like putting on like a tiny necklace to hang off your cat's tail to cover its asshole. <laughs> it's like, aren't you tired of seeing cat butthole? And it's like, how often are you seeing your cat's butthole? It's like, oh, oh yes, really it's don't... every day. It's a fucking problem. Apparently not as often as that person. That's what I will personally. I don't see a lot of it. Like, uh, you know, like sometimes and I know, you know, like cats be grooming and stuff, but I don't I don't ever find myself staring into the eye of Sauron. <laughs> not to the Did point where it's like, it oh, how problematic. I think you're the problematic one in that case. I mean, your cat just, you know, you can get money from doing races. Oh, well, we'll do the races then. Thank you for the heads up, Club. I mean, then you'd be a racist. At that <laughs> point, people wouldn't just buy those gym. <laughs> what do you mean they, oh, they wouldn't just? What do you mean they wouldn't just buy those gym booty plugs? <laughs> and they're not plugs; they're <laughs> covers. It's different. It's different. I'm told. You're told. Who are you saying? 
All right, let's shop. We can't. Okay, we have to go. We have, let's go unlock some colors. Inter race. Scotland. For Scotland. Scotland! For freedom. I don't have enough energy to finish the race. No. He forgot to upgrade your energy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Try it again. Poor Fredo. I'm saying you try to cover your booty. Oh, me? I mean, look, some people are probably better off if they plug it up. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> cool. You have barely enough energy. Barely enough energy? Yeah, I know. Wait a second, Caro's not a bear, she's a duck. I mean, right now I'm a duck. Did the cute Paris. <laughs> just wait, just wait, the third game deals with evolution, so I imagine we'll become a bear. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr XD. No, oh, be careful opening up Rawr files. Yeah, let's go, Alfredo! You got this, Alfredo! You can do it! It's the area finals! <laughs> Let's go, Alfredo! You got this in the bag! Oh no! Alfredo's out of energy! Oh no! Okay, Fredo, we're gonna get you some cocaine, and you're gonna get back in there. <laughs> that is kinda- that is kinda what just happened. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, Fredo, I know- you said you didn't want a juice, but we gotta. But it's got the juice. Ooh, the juice from Jersey Mike. We got the juice. We got the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. I hope the soundtrack gets a little bit more diverse as the games go. Yeah. Probably For does. just one coin a day, you too can help feed a starving duck. It'd be funny if I made that a channel point redeem for like one point you could feed the duck. <laughs> but we would then but then like we'd have to actually either feed it or we'd have to just like lie and just say we can't feed it, because that would be like a lot of redeems. Oh god. You know, there's this guy who made a shit ton of money by just having these, uh... Like, he got gumball machines and put, uh, like, some, uh... I forget what exactly he put in it, but it was, uh, had it alongside the fucking river. And people were just buying it and feeding it to the fish. Oh yeah, that makes sense. If they're paying to fish, they probably had fish food. I'm I well, the thing is, I think it was something like cat food. Hmm. Fish like, are like goats; they'll eat whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but that stuff's not made for that. No, if fish are like goats, then they can have grass. <laughs> he said they were like goats. Fish yeah, are not. Randy, how you, are you gonna take my word for it? I mean, yeah. You seem like Big a goat. You seem like a goat expert. Not food. Fish are friends, not food. Each one gets a different soundtrack. Oh, I just want something various, cause like, this is grading at this point. You could listen to Pokemon Lo-Fi. 
I could. But the real question is... Or wait, maybe I should put a vote up for that. I mean, or, Bob already wanted it. Because yeah, I, I know Bob wanted it, but I wanted... Because, like, you know, you know, like, uh... We'd either do that, or it would be like, ah, oh, no, because, like, the grading music is part of the experience. I'd always just mute it whenever I played. I was gonna say, we were, most of us did this in, like, a school's computer lab. So we didn't have sound. No audio, I was gonna say. Didn't want to get caught. Less didn't want to get caught. More shitty audio, anyway. Yeah, the, your only option was, like, those really bad headphones. Yeah. Yeah, those really bad headphones that have terrible quality and feel awful on and your ears. are definitely and broken, really at least on one side, because of previous students. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah. And they're, like, they're, like, a size of, like, a half dollar or something. <laughs> yep. Also, the cushioning's been torn off, so they hurt like a motherfucker when you put them on. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's what I said. Feels terrible on both ears. Oh, yeah. Where the only comfortable way to wear them is to just turn the volume up and have them around your neck. What <laughs> the? Guys, did you see that? Did you see that? I did not. What? <laughs> what? I. Wow. Uh. I love that. That was fun. What drugs have you been feeding Alfredo? You know, a roast Alfredo beef, sauce. a chicken, a pizza. Alfredo sauce. Because I think Alfredo somehow has uh, superpowers. Now, I don't think he has superpowers. I know he does. Our magical little man. Kero's been giving him a V from the boys. Kero's been giving him the juice. Oh yeah, I gotta start watching. We gotta get together and watch the boys easy. Cause that would, that's yeah. that's been on my like watch list for a while, and I just like straight up haven't watched it. It's pretty good. Carol, why do you keep running Alfredo into the rugs? It's not on purpose. <laughs> they give you warning. Uh, it's the speed. I'm it's just like it's just like on it in Smash. You give me a warning, sure, but that does not mean that I will avoid the cars. Think about it, though. The level goes faster if you smash into the rock. That's true. <laughs> All right, we're level 80. Let's go into the race now. Oh, wait, menu. Eat the seed. All right, back to Scotland. Forward, Forward run! This was talking about e training being easier at higher levels. You can just get some easy points and die a horrible, painful death by trying to by trying pug surgery. Pug surgery. <laughs> That's a new one. Let's go! Let's go, Alfredo! Yeah, baby! You win 100 coins, nice. You just deposit 5 coins. Yeah, you gotta love when the competition DNFs. Yeah, you do. That sensor does not fuck. That's true! Eh? Also, there's definitely diseases down in that water. Oh, a hundred percent. I'd be suspicious if there wasn't. It has a lot of diseases at this point. That's probably where the superpowers came from. If you don't want the superpowers you get from England, it's probably like I don't. I don't even want it. Like I don't know. The ability to like have heat vision, but only for tea. All right, we're in the area finals now, gang. Oh boy! 
Oh, so you can get out of England, almost. You can get out of the cesspool that is England. Oh no, I think we're gonna run out of energy in this. No. No, Alfred, oh no! Hey, Burn no, up! Dee, dee, dee. What's up, Darian? Oh, he might make it. He might make it. Come on, Fredo. He's gonna make it. Come on, Alfredo. You gotta want it. You gotta want it. No. He was one step away. <laughs> That's stupid. We're going right back. The food despawns if you click it too fast? Are you shitting me? I thought it was counting. God dang it. Okay, Fredo, you got it this time. There we go. That's my boy. That's my yeah, boy. Alfredo. My friends out there. Good old chicken Alfredo. All right. Do it you carefully this time. Alfredo. Nope, chicken Alfredo. No one's ever had duck Alfredo before. Before today. <laughs> what are you saying, Grandy? Uh, he's saying I mean, nothing. I'm saying that duck looked kind of juicy. Stay away from our boy Fredo. Oh, Fredo, you really be made now, Fredo. God, I can't talk with ice cream in my mouth. Then don't. Fuck you. Talk. Oh no, One they're just all? as fast as me now. Oh no. It's not a little bit faster. No, his first loss. Well, this is the point that he would be made into Alfredo. <laughs> what? No. No, we, no, Nova's right. No, you only, you only do that after the, you know. Alfredo was your idea? After yes, yes, it older. was. And Grandy is Grandy. These are facts. If we name the duck, the next duck Grandy. Wait, oh, wait. I think it just told me I was already maxed. Have Grandy not be great. Which means you didn't buy the upgrade, too. Shit. You're right. But, but Carol said the next duck is Whooper. Okay, yes, well, the next then, duck we, is going to be Whooper. We'll have to name one of them Grandy. And then whenever Grandy says, I'm Grandy, uh, we'll be like, Grandy was the duck's name. I think you gotta go to the shop. No, I know I do. I don't have the money for it. Oh. Wait, can you Fair repeat races? Round. Do you still get money if you repeat races? I don't know. You know what I don't remember. We well, should definitely test that out. You don't think so? I was gonna say, I didn't think so either, because that'd be such an easy money grind. Yeah, just repeat the first race. Wait, it says yes? Oh. Or no? Like, you were just oh. agreeing with me? Yeah, I was agreeing with oh, you. Oh, okay. I thought you were just like, oh, yeah, you can just repeat the first race, and I'll be like, we can! 
that coin was in the iceberg. Yeah, it was frozen. 37 coins, yikes. Yeah. Grandy, what do you mean? That coin was the avatar. <laughs> Long ago. Oh wait, no, we shouldn't we shouldn't have done this one. We should have done swimming. Swimming. Yeah, I think swimming's definitely the better way to get like money. I've never gotten money swimming. I like swimming. There's forest gump, but swimming. <laughs> Oh, we saved it. Good job. A good job dies immediately. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd do. But yeah, you would die immediately. Total coins. Okay, good. We can upgrade now. Shop. Upgrade. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, sure is. I feel like it picks like one person's every time. Uh, you disconnect this time. <laughs> yeah, you say you do it. What? Except we won't know when you rejoin because you don't have an intro. I was going to say, you won't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wish that was someone's intro noise. It should be easy's intro noise. Yeah. No, yeah. because then he'd never dance again. <laughs> but my, well, my guilty feet have got no rhythm. <laughs> I was going to finish it, but I was overcome by cringe. And so was I. I mean, maybe you shouldn't be so cringe then. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, hey, it's easy to pretend that you are not so cringe. <laughs> oh, no. Give me more money.
All right, I think we can probably race with these stats. You just remember that you needed to get uh, Nitro again for intro noises? Yeah, I always forget it's a Nitro feature. Flying is the best non-race way to get money. Because you're just so fast. Is that really? Because I was, I was going to say, because like, I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to how much I had gotten. I just noticed it was easier for me to target the coins during swimming. Oh, jeez. One of the things I don't like about flying is that these rocks, when you go like really fast, some of them, they just come out of nowhere immediately. You're definitely right about flying, though. Had on like two rocks there. I know. I was. I'm surprised that I was alive still. All you have is minor drain damage. Minor though. That's not bad. I mean, a little brain damage never hurt anyone. No, a little bit as a treat. And remember, you gotta treat yourself. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself to drain damage. Yeah. Just, you know, instead of hanging the Christmas tree this year, hit yourself over the head with the ladder. Ladders are dangerous.
All right, let's go do Egypt. There's no way we're not winning this. Yo, the ducks here are a lot faster than I was expecting them to be. Still no match for Fredo. No, nah, Fredo's a god. So much energy to spare as well. Oh, yeah. No, I'm glad. He's been eating his Wheaties. Ooh, extreme volcano. What jump. the? A little bitch. He cheated. All right, that's it. We have all the upgrades that we can get. Amazing. The rest of his food gonna be on, or the money gonna be on food. And then we'll probably give him a paint job later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a paint job like you take him to like the spray. <laughs> yeah. You know, personally, I prefer to get my uh, my ducks uh, vinyl wrapped, but <laughs> protects the paint underneath. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can get the clear wrap, or you can get you know, you can get a design. I personally would like to clear coat the patina on my Ultima. It looks so bad, but I think that's what I like about it. It says, like "Don't hit coat, me." Uh, I, it, it says, "I don't have insurance," even though I do. <laughs> I'd like to clear coat the rest of my uh, Ford. <laughs> you know what? In the words of Nolan from Donut, a good patina is earned. That is why it is so nice. <laughs> my my Mazda, not Mazda. My my Nissan was left out in the rain and weather for like twenty years to obtain this patina, and that and, that, <laughs> and all of that stems from a, pa a factory clear coating job. And by that I mean lack thereof, because the 07s had like notoriously bad clear coat. That's why they're all bad with the paint. Uh, yeah, it's like a factory thing. It's not even like a my fault thing. Who knew? I didn't. I know, a lot of car problems with cars is like a factory thing. I've heard that a lot about uh, Subarus, where their head gaskets always break. That's what it's genuinely... That's what genuinely yeah. messes with me because I want a Subaru, but that scares me because it, I don't have the patience or the money to do another head gasket but, job because I did one on Camaro on my Camaro when I had it. It was bad. But Caro, that's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. What uh -huh. the? No, no, no. What makes a Subaru a Subaru is throwing a rod out sideways instead of top because of how boxer engines work. Running level 152, <laughs> neat. I was gonna say, what happened with 150 being the cap? Is it just boundless after this? Uh, I think you broke it. <laughs> yeah, yeah Fredo has, Fredo's juicing. 162 yeah. now. Um. So, I think what that's called is... It's broken? Unlimited run speed, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I honestly, I doubt that. Let's try to get to level 200 run speed. That might be what it is. No, it's definitely not because the XP bar is past. Yeah, the, the XP bar is broken. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, one thing I'm worried about, though, uh, is something called stack overflow. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, right? Like, that wouldn't be a thing. Fredo, Fredo gets too juiced. Well, considering there's supposed to be a cap, um, and, I mean, you'd have to hit him in insane But the big thing is, like, do they store the XP as, like, a number? 
or do they only store like you know the actual level good question all right we're Where level 194 let's go to the menu <laughs> It definitely do be broken. Oh, you should get a day at swimming speed. <laughs> like, if you could get the run speed to, like, align with swimming speed, you'd have a mega bar. Oh, that's true. Also, man, I did tell Fredo to do all the cocaine, so... Why did you do that? he listened. Well, I was calling the food cocaine. Look, the W... The, the DWF cannot... They cannot know about this. He'll be disqualified uh, from competition. Uh, actually, there's no law saying a duck can't do cocaine. Oh my god. Fuck, I can't remember if I had to ask Blizzy for that or not, but thank god I really need that double experience right now. Like, genuinely, I... I need double experiences on Duolingo more than anything at the moment because I have been slacking. Slacker. Yeah. Also, what's up, fun AoE? How you doing? Oh, no. Ah! Dang you, cruise ships! How dare you! It's funny, I... <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna take the L on that one. I... I accidentally hit the number key and it made me angry. <laughs> like appropriately so, but it it wasn't intentional. All right, we'll try to just hit. I don't know a decent because like I am worried because if it if it overflows, then technically we're like level twenty again for the running. Uh, it probably won't. For, like even if it would, like. The, the integer limit is very high, unless they're using shorts. No, well, I don't think they have shorts or pants right now. Oh, there it goes. All right, we're at 141. One more level of this should get us to at least 150. Yeah. And then we'll go shopping. Oh, I guess we'll just go shopping now. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Yes, English duck with straw hat. I was going to say, you mean British. At what? Sea dog VA? I think the term you're looking for easy is Welsh. <laughs> what? You heard me. What if they hard cap at 150, so even if it shows 200, it's still 150? It does. At least it probably is what that situation is, because in the previous game it was 150, and uh, the bar fills up at 150. So I'm guessing that's probably what it is. Alfredo looking beautiful. Alfredo looking uh, like his Sunday best. Oh, okay. Okay, 151. Yeah, it just overflows, I guess. All right. I wonder if I get... I wonder if this bar is just stuck like that, or if I get it to level 200, if it'll complete. I have no idea. Train skills. Let's do flying next. I've never flown the train before. 
You're gonna start getting ready for work. Alrighty, Glob. Oh gosh. I really do just keep hitting rocks and surviving. <laughs> uh, it's all the cocaine, probably. I can't believe you gave my duck cocaine. You gave your duck cocaine. No. Not in any way that's provable. I mean, what was this $5 for? What $5? So, you know, the one that said, with the note that said for cocaine? No, that's, yeah, yeah. that's not mine. That's somebody else's handwriting. And I don't I, know, I, Kara, okay. and I And I, I supplied the duck with stuff, but that's, a, that's not enough for it. I just got to say next time, I mean. Yeah, you got to pay full price next time. No, you gotta no, price. you got to understand, I'm in with the Lombardi family. They got me out of prison. <laughs> I, I'm not in with the Lombardi family. You gave me the $5. I, I understand, family. but you gotta understand. That means that you need to be understanding about this. You understand? No. I don't understand. I'm very confused. You need actually. to understand. The Lombardis will not take this politely. I don't know who the Lombardis are. Oh, uh, you weren't there for Thief Sim, were you? No. Oh, okay, <laughs> so the Lombardis bailed us out of jail in the Thief Sim. So uh, I'm imagining that they are still going to be keeping an eye out for me as a financial investment. Ah, okay. Yes, they got me out of prison just to have me do petty theft on a neighborhood. Now he's gotta do climbing. I just thought about something. What? Earlier, when you bought the max thing, like when you got to 150, you kept spamming it, didn't you? Spamming what? The, um, Money. the plus 10 to max skill. I might have. I was gonna say, because maybe. Maybe that just kept ma making it go up. That'd be funny. Just like allow you to level up forever. Yeah. To infinity and beyond. I mean, I'd be down. And by down, I mean not down, because it would have to have some end. No. Uh, yeah, number only goes so high in computer. That's the end. Oh, yeah? Then name a Googleplex, then. A Googleplex? I can't. There's not enough bits. Bits of what? In an integer? What's an integer? You know, now I'm curious. If you let, if you leveled up your duck enough, would you just have an integer overflow? An integer? I hardly even know her. Ha 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 ha. Well, well, maybe, but that depends. I mean, this is made of flash. I don't know, know how flash works, but you can, like, stack overflow is a pretty easy thing to fix. Use notations. Yeah, that's fair. It's one of those things. It depends on how old the game is, because it's like how you can only have 144 rupees in Zelda. And uh, how in Castle Crashers, your level, if you break the leveling system, is 256, because that's just like the maximum stack those games can handle. And I bet you, if I had to guess, this game is probably one of those games that has a 144 stack limit. No, wait, no, it doesn't, because it can go up to 200. <laughs> Maybe 256. Uh, it makes sense that it's 256. It's a binary number. Yeah. Love using Castle Crashers. Oh. Oh, you don't even know. Me and Easy were on a kick of it like last year, and we did a bunch of different characters getting it through hardcore mode and stuff. It was so much fun. Love Castle Crashers. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I think it was my first and probably like my only Xbox Live Arcade purchase. Definitely a thing I got on all of my friends' Xboxes, like uh, for as the demo. And then played through the demo so much that everyone ended up uh, individually getting it. Mm -hmm. So essentially, amongst your friends, 
that became the uno of your friend group. Yeah, no, seriously. It's like, like every single time someone's like, ah, oh, what's a good game on Xbox? And it's like, dude, Castle Crashers is like 14 bucks. Grab it. I don't have uno. <laughs> well, yeah, I would say you have it. It came on your Xbox, except it didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also a lie. I have it on Steam. Level 167. I, <laughs> I wonder if you can get energy above as well. Probably. Alright, inter race. Good reason why you couldn't. Let's go to Hawaii. Oh, wow, you've never been. Dear God. What? <laughs> I, th I think his speed no. definitely... I think his speed definitely overflowed a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Oh, God. Uh, I, think I think the speed is definitely tied to the number. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, there he goes! <laughs> Holy shit! His, his climbing! His climbing was so fast! <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no Did cop, no cop there? at all! Did I see emo hair? By the way, try and get it, running over two hundred. My my to see what my favorite, just the the smash. Oh no contest! That's how this feels. No contest. You said emo hair. Oh, we do have emo hair. All right, hold on. You could be Gerard Way now. We don't have a black coloration yet, so we're just gonna have to go white. America emo. It's me, Chris Motionless. All right, 150 on the energy. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do training. And you said train running. You should get running to do it, yeah. I mean, I bet the, I bet before it would like even like break from overflowing. I bet it would just break the game from going too fast. Probably. You know, I've never <laughs> seen Attack on Titan, but I've heard the intro song because there was someone that <clears throat> made the. Uh, the intro song, but it was like wrong lyrics. And all, every time I think about that, all I think of is having the sex with the bees and the eagles. Bees and the eagles. Um, I mean, I guess that's one way to think about birds and bees. I will become God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Duck Sasuke. You will become Duck God. Sasuke. Hero uh, over max level. You know, du okay, Duck, duck Sauce. Point. Like Duck Sauce is if one word Duck Sasuke. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to point out we we made we made. Uh, Alfredo into Duck Sasuke, right? And our next place to go is Japan, so this is gonna be really interesting. Alright, we're at 239. Let's see if we can get over 256. Two fifty seven. So yeah, two fifty six is definitely not the limit. Okay. Can we get to level three hundred? <laughs> You're addicted. No, I'm not addicted. I just like power scaling. It's funny. Two sixty two. Okay, we'll stop at three hundred.
Let's go gambling. Let's go. Let's go gambling. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, oh, dang, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> the bar's no longer on the screen. All right, hang on. We got to get to 300. Oh, dang it. Is it weird that I, I read the Let's Go Gambling from Fun AoE and I immediately thought of the DJ Khaled? Let's go shopping. Let's yeah. go shopping. <laughs> Let's go shopping. <laughs> That's what I thought of. <laughs> Life is Roblox. <laughs> I also like how all these levels are easier to get than like the last levels for like all the other things. Teenagers scare the living fuck out of you. What? What happened? Okay, now you said duck, but I assume that one, that one wasn't on purpose. It was a pun. It was a pun. Oh, it was? Oh, look! The, the bars! They have conjoined! My chemical romance. <laughs> oh. See if we can. You have one bar. All right, all right. And health or energy caps. Energy caps at 150. Yeah. All right. The Damn, semifinals. That, that, uh, that mod thing that you would use is fucking overtime. I don't remember what. Oh, it was Saribot. Called. Yeah. Okay, Saribot. dead ass. If anyone's a streamer, get Saribot in your channel. Uh, noted. Oh <laughs> no. Imagine getting your ass kicked by Gerard Way. I'm gonna be heading out soon. Want to get a burger on the way to work? Hell yeah. Also, you're real fast. Right? Level 300 speed, baby. Oh, it's the dap. But yeah, uh... <laughs> yeah, you're so fast. This is crazy steps. fast. But yeah, get, get fucked, spammer. This really is the longest race so far. I mean, it's the semifinals. Where are your opponents? Disqualified for being lame. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Honestly, though, me to the champion. H had enough You're yet? Too You're too slow. But yeah, I have OCD. Oversized cock disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that one's actually keeping up with you. I think you gotta change that. You're right. What? I haven't lost my virginity because I never lose. <laughs> <laughs> McDouble's McDouble's Alright, Duck Life 2 is complete Congrats Yeah, congrats with a question mark? Congrats Congrats Secretions, comrade <laughs> Alright, enter race that's, that's all of them so, I guess we'll just see what's in the shop, I guess. Oh, there we go. True ninja. Oh, wait, no, get the crown. That's what we gotta do. Yes! Good job, Alfredo! Nothing but nice Alfredo, food for you! Also, did it all naturally. Yep, no enhancement drugs. At no all. cheating. Definitely not. not. Not one. Alright, now we gotta play Duck Life Evolution. Duck Life 3! Your suggestion for the next name is Blue for Blue Cheese? Okay, we promised Bob we'd do Whooper for this one, and then the next one will be Blue Cheese. Okay, I like this little bird right here. This one's fun. Alright, start. Farmer invents genetically modified ducks. Ducks can now be bred to become specialized for a certain skill. Duck racers are ecstatic at the news. A, a new breed of duck racing is here. <sighs> <laughs> 
Okay, well, as much as I really do want to see you finish uh, Duck Life, I gotta go. It's getting late. Aw. Uh, boomer. Okay. Yeah, I have work in six hours, so... Boomer. Not a boomer. Oh, whoops. I mean, you zoomers. Anyway, good night. Good night. Okay, I like the purple pellets that they've added here. So the purple pellets, they keep you in the air. Alright, let's see if this stops at 20. Because I do wonder how the leveling scaling works on this. Level 25. Okay, so can we just keep going? You think it stops at 50 for each thing? So it's 150 for max. So the last two, it's been weird. So the first game, you can just grind to 150, right? Second game, you're gated behind the level Ow. unlocks. And third game, if you're gated, it seems to be later on, but I haven't noticed so far. I heard now, fuck. Nova, you good? I had heavy object fall on head. Oh yeah, that's oh. not good. Wait, what'd you what'd you have fall on your head? A fan. A, wait, like a ceiling fan? Really not a a window fan. Oh, okay, oh. okay. I was just like, did your ceiling fan fall on you? <laughs> How did the window fan fall on you? I assume it's a box fan. I assume it just tilted over. Oh, it was not a box fan. It's one of those uh, dual blade fans. Oh shit. Oh no. Retry. Okay, so we're still up to 40. I want this is gonna be crazy if they're just gonna let us get to 150 right off the bat. Yep. And you also have to account for the fact that you get the mutations of the deck. How is that gonna play in? Yeah. It caps for 50 uh, each Evo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So for each Evo, I was going to say, because I don't know how it works into this with that. Oh, yep. Yep, there you go. You are right. 100% fun, AoE. Yeah. All right, let's see. So we did flying, so let's do running next. Murph. Murph. I gotta, I gotta go through my Duolingo. Oh shoot, I gotta do Duolingos here uh, yeah. soon as well. You don't want the owl coming for you in your sleep. No, I really don't want the owl coming for me in my sleep. In either sense of the word, yeah.
Oh, shoot. It's already been notified. Did you snitch me out? Did you snitch me out to duo? But no, I think uh, as long as I might still be technically good. I think I just needed to do it. No, I know I did it like today today, but if it's like like, you know, close to 11 or midnight or whatever, then whenever the roll is, I need to do it again. I know I did it for today with quotes because they taught me. It's funny. I thought I thought Kitsune was just a, a folklore creature, but it's just the translation for Fox. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Kitsune is just two separate things because it is the fo folklore for the creature. But technically, by by Japanese belief, uh, all foxes are magical and they have the ability to gain a second tail if they live long enough. Oh, that's crazy. Yay, 62 days. Isn't it up to nine tails? Probably. Yes, it is up to nine with at once they get their ninth tail, they are able to ascend to quote unquote. Wish I could ascend. foxes have a lot of chakra that doesn't surprise me and like it's even funnier at first i didn't know what that was but like you see a lot of things on the internet and for like one of the videos i had seen they were talking about uh holistic medicine and a lot of people will attach onto chakra alignment as a way to like deceive people to for sales and it just sucks not saying it doesn't work or isn't real it just sucks whenever you're being completely uh you know, taken advantage of because somebody wants to sell you something. Yeah. I will say one of the things I thought was for vanity, but totally isn't. Uh, Milo recently <laughs> like let me do the gua sha stone, and that was pretty cool. That actually, that's like a circulation thing, apparently. Yeah. The gua sha stone, you like rub it against your. Uh, like your skin and it like basically promotes circulation like blood circulation huh. yeah yeah another thing to be careful of is there's the some health products that they're supposed to have healing effects but um they're just radioactive oh yeah no i know <laughs> that's what i think is so funny about the old days People used to do that kind of stuff all the time, and it's like, ah, yes, with the power of radium, we are going to cure you. Well, no, they don't even list that uh, it has a radioactive material. Yeah, it's kind of like, if you don't remember, old thermometers used to have, like, a shit ton of mercury in them. You can still get mercury thermometers. Oh, I know, but, like, you know, it's, like, less of a common thing now, because a lot of people would... <laughs> Next thing you know, the new TikTok challenge would be, guys, drink the funny liquid inside your thermometer. <laughs> Sounds yeah. useful. Yeah, uh, yeah. Especially if you're talking about the gua sha. Like, it's, it's one of those things at first I was like, that's hokey. But Milo's like, no, it really works. I was like, okay, I trust you. Because she has to use stuff like that for work. Yeah. But yeah, because it used to be that kids would break open thermometers, pour them into a bowl, and play with the funny liquid. That was smelling salts. You know, I got to say, I used to be very skeptical about stuff like smelling salts and like, uh, in, like uh, essential oils, right? And that was until my mom's like, hey, you uh, you said you've been having some trouble breathing. And she gave me like some, I don't even remember what the, what it was. Like it was like just some, some, like she gave me a diffuser and something. And I just remember I got like the best sleep of my life and I didn't have like a stuffy nose for once. And now I live by that. And then she's also like, oh, yeah. you can put lavender in it if you're having trouble sleeping. And I'm like, maybe not me because I've had insomnia my entire life. So... Not, not a lot helps me sleep. That isn't just like maybe a, a little hit of the Zaza. 
Even Trazodone. I was on Trazodone for a while and that didn't help me. 40 milligrams of it too, which is double the dose they normally give you. Yeah. Milligrams. I can sometimes have trouble sleeping. Partially because I have to take steroids for my asthma. Yeah. Nova, the Discord's known juicer. Sometimes music helps. Oh yeah, and it doesn't matter what kind of genre either. Like I can listen to, uh, uh, I can listen to anything from like you know chill music to like metal and still fall asleep. It's just something you have to yeah. enjoy. It's one of the things I have to fall asleep with the TV on for the same reason. I like hearing familiar uh, like sounds. I, it really helps me like get into a sense of security. I guess it's weird. So it's like, if it's like a YouTuber I like to watch, I'll throw on them and then like, even if it's like Doug Doug, you know, for like Doug Doug's comforting. So it's like, all right, we'll just sleep to Doug Doug tonight, I guess. What were you saying though, Nova? Well, what I was gonna say was, I was actually, so I was scrolling through TikTok at one, one point. Then I, I was also, I forget what exactly I was thinking of at the time. But I just scrolled to the next video and it was just this, I forget what frequency it was, but my mind just suddenly went, what was I thinking again? And I don't know why the fuck, but it <laughs> just blank. But I, I don't remember what frequency it was. That's weird. There's also one that's supposed to help with sleep. I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Normally, it'd be like bullshit, but if white noise works, I'm sure it's just like to a degree white noise. Yeah, that's that is all that white noise is. It's just a specific frequency. Well, yeah, unless well, like people don't like. <laughs> it'd be really funny if white noise machines only came with that one white noise sound effect and not like just sound effects. It's like, ah, oh, yes, oh, yeah. you want to hear television static to fall asleep to, yes. <laughs> Well, there's, there's white noise, pink noise, black noise, brown noise. What the the fuck is pink noise? <laughs> it's, uh, it is very interesting, and when you, and you get the chance, you should look up a YouTube video of pink noise. Because, like, I, I know about brown noise, and I know about white noise, but that was it. Or, I don't know if it's the same brown noise, but I think of South Park whenever I hear that. Oh, it's that sound. Well, potentially, assuming it's the same thing. After I get to 50s and then do my beginning races, I won't I won't be gone long enough to do a BRB screen, but I will just like run to the restroom really quickly after that. We've been at this for almost three hours straight. And for the record, I will say one warning to anyone that ends up playing this game for whatever reason, uh, definitely take a break and stagger yourself and look at other things because the eye, like the, the strain that this causes on your eyes is insane. It's the background colors. So like the background colors, especially in the first game are very vibrant and clashy because like the person didn't know what the hell they were doing when they made the game. Uh, and it, it, like, I can see eye floaters almost perpetually because of that, like, right now. Okay, so, yeah, I decided to look at it. So, pink noise, so white noise is just flat. All the frequencies are the same. Oh, okay. Pink noise decreases in power with each higher octave to create a lower pitch and brown noise is the same as pink noise but the but it's a steeper pitch of how quickly it decreases yeah and then also, there's green noise which is just it amplifies the mid-range you're seeing the gold coins float around you know it's even funnier like they're just floating around but also like, what kind of physics are these? Because some of them are just suspended in the air. Some of them are just hanging out in the water. There's no consistency. Training complete. I still see my duck. What's going on? Some are inside the objects. Yeah, I think that's just... 
coding on the the people that made this is end i think you went a little bit too far to the left yeah i guess maybe i just like hit the front side of the island or something Uh-oh. Ah, uh, okay, we're at 50. Alright. Like, to dispense. Yes, my little buddy. Eat up all of your delicious food. I think I'm gonna bounce for now. Okie doke, Randy. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, later. Alright, we're a fifth of the way there. Oh, it's back. Now we go racing. Quarterfinals. Race one. We just go right to the quarterfinals. That's kind of stupid. Congrats, you won. Now go win all the other races, it says. We didn't even get any money for that. Okay, that is very fucking weird. What? So I decided to like listen to the different noises. So, brown noise doesn't really sound, it just sounds like noise, much like white noise. But, um, pink noise, for me, it sounds a bit like wind, and green noise definitely sounds like a fucking waterfall. Interesting. I like the little front flip they do whenever they go off of the, uh, the little edges. Yeah. Oh my god, disqualified for not for not flying fast enough. Alright, finals. Need to be better than that. All right, let's see if we can win the finals now, and then hopefully evolve into whatever the whatever the heck evolves after duck. All right, easy finals win. 
All right. OMG, I'm evolving. Oh God, it's a strong duck. Get into the advanced league. Welcome to the new advanced league in London. New training facilities, advanced contestants, longer tracks, maximum level of 100. Okay. Ah, oh, this is different. expensive would it have been for them to set up this flight path? I mean, uh, depending on if the, the buildings already had holes in them or not. I feel like if the buildings had holes, not that expensive. Well, why would the buildings have holes? Uh, either post-war or uh, airflow, I guess. Probably the first one, though. Oh my god. Wait, every time I crash into the wall, I get like a level? That's funny. What's the point of even doing it then? Because I guess the longer you go, the more levels you get. Yeah, but you only get like a couple. And for, like, the amount of time investment I'm putting into this, it's... For the amount of time I'm investing, it's definitely faster. I'm wondering if it's the same with all of the training. There we go, level 100. Alright. Eat, my beautiful. Soon you will gain muscles. Yes. All right, so we did flying, now we gotta do running. So what's this one's name again? Um, this one is Whooper. Okay. This was Bob's, and then the next one's gonna be Blue. Yeah. Oh, there's no shop uh, next... in here. Yeah. What's up? Next run, I wanna, I wanna see what happens if you just die to the first object. Okay. Fifty-seven. Why? Okay. Because you were fifty-six. Fifty-eight. Okay. <laughs> this might, you might be right. So yeah, you just. Every time you do the, the training, you gain a level. And the longer you train, the more levels you get. But you can also just die to the first object and get the level. It definitely seems to be faster in some cases. Like here, okay. So we would have gotten one level by now, right? So let's just get hit by the second thing. Level 62. Yeah, it's, it's genuinely just faster to die. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm sorry, Wooper, but you must perish. Wooper is just taking balls to the face for our victory. It's okay. I wish I could just set this up to like keep going like this. That way I could just I could just go take my break right now. <laughs> How yeah. to win 101 commit die. Honestly, it's a pretty flawless and foolproof method if you ask me.
Okay, I'm gonna try this one. So we're at 70. Oh, well, that doesn't help. Alright, we're at 71, so we're gonna try to... We're gonna try to see how far we can get. Okay. Level 74. Yeah, I wouldn't really say it's... Particular. It is more engaging, though, I will say that. More coins. I don't even know what we need them for in this game. There's no shop, it seems. Oh, you need them for your feed. Oh, right. That's true. It's just feed in this. I was like, there's no hats or anything. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta feed your duck. Oh, I'll say that is gonna grow up to be a big and strong. He won't. Oh, we're getting there. Alright, four more levels. All right, level 100. Oh wait, hang on, we gotta die. All right, so we gotta swim and climb. These are some very strangely shaped skyscrapers. I was gonna say, uh, the... What the heck? I don't think those, uh, satellite antennas are gonna be doing much. Definitely not up to code. Some balconies so you can step out and take a smoke break. Get that fresh, fresh city air. Why is there a duck outside my window? True. This high up, I don't think I'd be expecting ducks or any birds, really. Unless it's like you just cleaned your windows and you're just witnessing that Windex effect. Coin. Yeah. I hear a baby boy crying. Why he crying? <laughs> I don't know why that boy crying. Made the boy said. Why do they need so many antennas? Uh, lots of people live here. Couldn't they just have one big antenna on the roof? 
Maybe? I don't know how that works. I don't know if that's how that would work. Dang. Level 88. That was a pretty good climb sash. And thankfully Not just swimming enough. is after this. Swimming is pretty easy. Those are antennas and dishes for satellite. Yeah, they're for satellite signals. Yeah, it's just like a. It's basically what Dish TV is. Mm. Although I will say, never get satellite anything because if it rains, it sucks. I should probably have stopped because I only needed one level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Menu. Swimming. Man, the only reason you should ever get satellite anything is you live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. True, if it's the only option. Yep, submarine. Oh, that's stupid. Those spikes catch you. Like, I was supposed to go past them, but I guess they just, like, have something that keeps you there. It's like, oh, you touch this, you're dead now. Something going down if I have two submarines back to back. <laughs> right. I, uh. What country it? are they going to sit off the coast of? Uh, we're in London right now, technically. Yeah. But yeah, we got. There's a lot of submarines here, Part actually. Part of the UN. NATO. They perform peacekeeping with, alongside the U.S. and anti-piracy operations. Albeit, I've never seen a submarine acting as an anti-piracy escort. If only. That's the life yeah, we could like be living. You go to, you go to, you see this boat. There's no one around, and then all of a sudden, a submarine comes out of nowhere what you do. It'd be really funny. It's like, you're a pirate. You want to rob this boat. And then suddenly the, the USS Thresher, which which fucking imploded like like decades ago, comes up and they go, I didn't fucking think so. And then go back under the water. No, what would be even funnier is it, if it's one of those small crafts and the submarine just comes up underneath them and lifts them out of the water. Okay, I would just be scared because of like the fact that it's a giant crab at that point. Like, people are afraid of spiders, but they don't realize that, like, crabs are just armored spiders. Like, they even have, like, the same number of legs in some cases. Yeah. The armored spiders of the sea. Okay. You know what's an interesting thing to think about? So, you know how, um... You know how, like... Ants bite, and like an ant, like a fire ant bite hurts, right? I think that that'd uh -huh. be like a real instance of something doing elemental damage. So like the ants do fire, fire ants do fire damage, right? Yeah. And then uh uh shoot, what were we just talking about? Because I was trying to tie it into that. Crab. Crabs, yeah, crabs. So like you know how 
uh, spiders, like regular spiders, like them, they're like the only creature I can think of that have a natural slow debuff. Oh. Yeah, because like, you know, you got the webs and it like slows and like traps people, so it's like, it's technically just like an actual debuff in real life. Yeah. Time to feed this boy. Alright, time to race. And they do poison damage, nerf spiders. True, spiders are a, a danger to our meta and the balancing yeah. of the game. Well, the big, the biggest thing though is that there's also some species that are just super fast. No, no, think about it this way. Think about it this way. No, because cheetahs get like no payout for being fast. They have like no energy, right? So yeah. like spiders, they have a natural slow. They do poison damage and they have proficiency in bondage roping. That's fucking stupid. You're telling me it can poison me, slow me, and wrap me up? That's way too OP. Yeah, but like I said, they're also dependent on the fucking in, uh, species. They just go, blam! Like, have you seen how fast a spider can strike and move? Yes, I have. It's terrible. Most spiders don't have good vision. That's fair. Well, you know what's funny, though? Because then, like, some spiders have, like, eight eyes, and you're like, how bad you gotta be at seeing to where eight eyes doesn't give you a good view of something? Oh, hello, baby yeah, that's boy! Yeah, that's one thing, though, is that a lot of spiders, they don't bother to bother looking for you. They f you. In order for them to get their prey, they feel when it gets caught in their web. Yeah. Also, oh my goodness, a sweet baby boy. It's coin. Also, our Vincent, how you doing? Hey, 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 don't bite me. Bad, bad kitty. Be good. Good, you doing great. Oh, what We've, I hear um, is this was a sub is. incentive, so we're doing the duck lifes today. And, uh, I'm just, you know, chilling. Got my cat who is doing a mixture of loving me and biting the shit out of me. And that's just how it is. Hope you're doing good, though. Or I actually just said that. Ignore me. This is what happens when you've been playing Duck Life for three hours. We're on the third game already. Oh, wait, no, we just did this. Back to the menu. We can't go back to the menu. There's no escape! You've been bitten by two things now. Well, I mean, if you count each individual bite from my cat, then like a bunch of times, technically. He he bites out of love. Oh yeah, we totally got this. Duck life treasure hunt. Oh, that looks cute. It's a that's definitely a better reimagining of the art style. Alright, finals. It's weird that they give the, uh, the dude with the feet over there, they give him kicking animations, but they don't give him, like, walking animations. Like, look, watch, yeah. he'll kick his legs now that he's in the water. But the way they do the kicking animation, it looks like they gave him an ass. 
Yeah, they no, they did. He has a tiny little lump where his butt should be. Yeah, but no, when he does the kicking animation, it looks like a fat ass. OMG, I'm evolving. Oh, I'm now a beefy duck. Welcome to the professional Whack. league in Easter Whack. Island. Whack. Pro contestants, okay. longer tracks, maximum level of 150, and new training facilities. Well, you know the deal. We just keep this going until it crashes. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Doc! What the hell? Sorry, it's my dog. Yeah, that's Doc. He's a corgi. Which is funny, because like corgis are so cute, but he's a you little you little bastard. Oh, jeez. Just the slow speed collision. Yep. <laughs> followed by instantaneous obliteration. Low speed collision followed by, hey, uh, where's the bird? <laughs> like the camera people just like keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're making it. I gotta say, it is kind of OP to just not move because half the time it just clips you up or down to like let you make the gap. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? We. Oh, I had seen. Oh shoot! Hang on. I have delay. There had been one where you just dead on it hit a wall, but it shifted you. Yeah, just right back. I know what you're talking about. Dude, yeah, he just picks up the bird look... seed now, just chirp. Chirp. It'd be really funny if there was just no obstacles for this. What? I jumped over that. That's so stupid. <laughs> I just saw the thing you jumped over. I'm, I'm telling you right now. How the hell did they get away with making nine of these? I don't know. And at least, at least they were self-aware, though, because the sixth one is in space. Once you've jumped the shark, even for even uh, Five Nights at Freddy's is like FNAF 56 in space or whatever. Which, by the way, I'm just saying, I am looking forward to eventually one day getting Freddy in space. <laughs> Please. Yeah, because, like, we, we had that one off game that Scott made that was uh, in space. FNAF World. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did technically do that in FNAF World, didn't they? Yeah, but only like a full self-contained game. I want that joke, oh, but like, realized. There's a, there's, a, there's a FNAF shooter that takes place in space. That's fucking awesome. I love it so much. I just, I it's like, I like the idea. Style. I like the idea of, of, uh, every, like, I want everything to do that. Like, Pokemon, Pokemon should have had their space region already. That's all I'm saying. It's a matter of time. Yeah, why are we not on the moon? We literally have dragons that can fly us outside of the ozone. Like, come on. <laughs> Freddy in space and FNAF World's Halloween update. See, okay, I'm, I'm like, you know what it is? I'm glad that there's like a, like, you know, like, it exists, but I want a full, like, into the pit level game where it's just that. Just Freddy in space. And it's like, maybe it's like really campy and on the nose and it like genuinely sucks, but like it's supposed to suck. <laughs> remake, remake the, uh, the Delta Room meme where it's like, God damn it, Freddy, what the f 
fuck are we doing here? Oh, whoops. Okay, let's just keep going. I was going pretty fast right there. Oh yeah, Desmond the Moon Bear. Did he ever get a sequel, or was it just the one time they mentioned Desmond the Moon Bear? Well, I love... there was the time where we went back to the moon and he's dead. Oh, okay, that's what it is. I was gonna say, I thought there was a follow-up to that. But, um, I love Tom Ska. He's so good. I genuinely, I loved his, uh, uh, Meanwhile series. Loved that a lot. And then I watched, I've every time he makes a video that is Thomas and Friends related, I seem to always be there. Don't know why, but I just seem to. So like whenever he did his, his two, he has like two Thomas and Friends videos. And then I think a one about tugs. And I've seen, I've seen those multiple times because I love me a good video essay on, on intellectual properties. I watched as a kid being a lot weirder than you remember them. It's kind of like I was talking about uh, Ski Runner or whatever it was called, that game where you just literally take LSD and ski down a hill. Like, I honestly, when I was a kid, didn't even realize that we were just taking drugs and skiing in that game. Salad Fingers. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. So, oh, man, but Salad Fingers, I think they just recently made, like, another bit to Salad Fingers. You know what's funny? It was creepy back in the day, but, like, now that now that I know what creepy is because, like, the rest of the internet, it's kind of endearing in a way. Like, I watched Salad Fingers recently, and I was like, you know what? I can actually, like, it's not gross to me anymore. Should it be? Sure, but, like, Meat Canyon exists. You know, and as long as Papa meets out there, there's always going to be, like, something to compare uncanny horror to. And speaking of Papa meat, I got the Gamer Subs Cup, and it looks really good. And then you look at the back of it, and you're like, yeah, he definitely drew the back of it. Yeah, I could have sworn there was a, a standalone one. Now I found it. It's, it's literally just Freddy in Space 2. What about Mandala Catalog? I am not, I'm not aware, actually. Is that like another YouTube thing? Yeah, I've not, I've not heard of that one. You'd have to uh, clue me in on that one. It's funny, Salad Fingers was really popular when I was younger, and then when I was in like middle school and high school, because Slenderman was popular, everyone was watching Marble Hornets. Analog horror? Oh, I'm gonna have to check that out then. I like me some animal, uh, some analog horror. I wonder if, you know, people that are younger than me still get the same nostalgia from analog horror. Cause like, obviously it's one thing to have lived through it, but I do wonder if like the nostalgia is still there for people that are younger. Mm -hmm. Mayhaps. You still get some of it. See, that's good. Because, like, you know, you look at, like, you know, you talk to a lot of people these days, and I've, there's a certain age range where it drops off, where it's like the people have no longer been to circuses and their movies are on DVDs. And it is a very jarring divide in, you know, people's age gaps. Because it's like, yeah, you know, some of us who, like, you know, grew up with uh, cable access television and nothing but VHSs and, or I mean, public access television, nothing but VHSs and like we could go to circuses and stuff. But then it's like over years, uh, v you know, became DVDs, circuses were deemed unethical. So it's like a level of, uh, yeah. of growing up that like a lot of people didn't get to do that we did because of what was uh, just ethical at the time, I guess. Yeah, now the only way you can get a circus is there is this one that does to where they do 3d projections for the animals yeah but the idea that you can't go and like see the creepy clowns get the peanuts and like 
see the animals like i'm not saying i'm devastated because obviously it was it was you know terrible work and it didn't need to be you know making as much money as it did but it's yeah. just like also i have like very fond memories of going to the circus as a kid so it's like uh even though i only went like once or twice and so it's yeah. just like oh man and then immediately i realized oh not everyone's gonna have that memory and that, that hit me a while ago like i remember i think i was like in my early 20s when i had realized like oh my god kids these days aren't gonna which makes me sound old it's like kids these days don't even know what it's like to go to a circus and that's wild to me but like also i can't can't be like we should provide that experience not in good conscience yeah. no i can't say that <laughs> you're gonna head to bed all righty scott have a good night yeah actually I, re I i did remember one thing about the time i went to the circus i actually got animal crackers <laughs> See, yeah, the, the, the kind of stuff they'd sell you there. You know, those Cracker Jacks, the stupid Circus Peanuts. That's where I actually learned how to hate those. Because, I like, they looked so good at the time, and then I got them, and they just, they weren't, they weren't good at all. They're just, they're just fucking terrible. Yeah, they're genuinely, I remember I was watching Rhett and Link do, uh, like, hey, taste test, what's the worst flavor of, how, like, what's the worst Halloween candy? And they, they voted Circus Peanuts. It was not even close how bad Circus Peanuts were to, like, every other candy. Oh god, yeah. Yes, you definitely, uh, you definitely should do that, Scott. Cause like, um, you know, definitely open it up as well and like play a round or two and see how it works. Because the optimization update has been making me play it more recently. That and the new leveling system. And the challenges. I'm trying to remember what all we had on, on VHS. Oh, gosh. <laughs> For me, it'd be like, what didn't we have on VHS? Yeah, I know. We had Pokemon the first movie, and I think we had Pokemon 2000. I know we had Phantom Menace. I, I hate... That one. My mom like. is one of the Goodwill-type moms. So, like, every everything at one point or another got given to Goodwill. So, like like our Pokemon movies, all that shit, you know? And it just really sucks oh. because like in hindsight, there's like a lot of stuff that I wish that I could still access. I think like the yeah. biggest, oh, what the heck? Oh, I have to click, I bet. But yeah, some of the stuff I'm glad we kept, like we kept the Popeye DVDs and stuff, which is cool. But then like, um, but yeah, anyways, uh, you know, like, but then like the Pokemon movies didn't keep those. And I mean, th and uh, sadly, a lot of uh, VHS movies also came in just really shitty cases. So like the cases would get completely done. Uh, and I think oh, the God, worst part yeah. about VHSs was also the tape inside. If you, if your VH, if your VCR got to the habit of messing up tapes, you could easily destroy like three of your favorite movies and not understand what's going on. Yeah. You just, yeah, I, we, I yeah. don't think any of our VHSs had a case. Yeah, and some of them, some of them, they, I don't know what inspired people to be this, like, short-sighted, but, like, paper? You put your movie in paper? And you're giving it to children? Notorious is, like, spillers of things? What is wrong with you? First of all, give them plastic. Second of all, don't give them plastic that they can push in and indent. Which is, like, what the other VHS tapes were made of. And I know, because all of our VHS tapes had little marks of me you know, just pushing my fingers into the funny feeling plastic. Yeah. No way. Actually, I think mm, I might have had one VHS that had uh, that still had the case. I'm trying to remember what the fuck was on it. I'm surprised Milo has this. Milo has uh, Pokemon the movie 2000, like, still in VHS. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I hate that I uh, misplaced. I had that ancient Mew card, and that thing is worth a mint nowadays. Yeah. I, I think I had the... Uh... Fuck, what's it called? Mm. I think I had the Railway series on VHS still in its case. No, hang on, the Railway series? It's just footage of trains, isn't it? It's... It, that's what the original Thomas series was called. Oh! It was based off of, 
It was based off of the books called the Roundway series and were done with actual models. Gotcha. I, I forget the fucking author's name off the top of my head, but Sir something or other. Sir Reginald Densebottom. Let's do a quick... Let's do a quick grabbing of, like, enough to get $15. Ah, uh, yeah, so it was Sir Reverend Wilbert Autry. Man, dude got knighted. That's so sick. Okay, menu, feed last thing, and then we're maxed up. Race, qualifiers, race. Which actually I might still have half those VHSs somewhere. They're probably in a box in the garage. Hooray, we did it. Oh, this is gonna be a minute. Oh, never mind, there they are. Oh, choose league. There we go. We go that's duck life three completed <laughs> now go win all the other races we did oh wait a portal has appeared a layer of the ultimate racer oh no we're supreme duck wow look at all those domos
Watch out for his army. Wait, of Domo-kun. Click on them to stop them attacking your duck. What? He just gets Domos? a lot of domos yeah finally it's rewards time we got the throne room the arcade okay and the shootout 500,000 coins oh I mean that's cool sucks we don't have anything to like spend this money on now it's GG yeah I guess so huh <laughs> 